Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Kinston, located in Lenoir County, North Carolina, on December 14, 1862. Union General John G. Foster, commander of the Department of North Carolina, was sent on a mission to destroy the Confederate railroad bridge named Kinston over the Neuse River on the way to Goldsboro. On December 11th, General Foster and his 10,000 infantry and 640 cavalry soldiers approached from New Bern near the intersection of the Atlantic and North Carolina Railroad and the Wilmington and Weldon Railroad. This was located on the path to Goldsboro. Waiting for him was the Confederate Brigadier General Nathan G. Shanks Evans. His brigade consisted of 2014 men whose job it was to stop the Union advance. On December 14th, Union forces outflanked the Confederates, forcing the Confederate soldiers back into the woodlands two miles away from Kinston Bridge. The Confederates put together some defensive measures, including rifle pits. The Union continued forward and approached the Confederate position not realizing the Confederates were there. Confederate General Evans kept his men from firing until the Union was within 75 yards. At that point, they unleashed a deadly volley. The Union was so surprised at the situation that the Union's own artillery began shelling Union troops accidentally. Eventually, the Union's numbers won out as they flanked the Confederates, forcing Evans to retreat back across the bridge to the north side of the river. The Confederates were desperate to stop the Union forces and set fire to the bridge before all their own troops had to cross, leaving 400 Confederate soldiers trapped on the other side. The Confederates were captured and the fire only slowed Foster. Foster eventually crossed with his men, where they captured and looted Kinston itself. Estimate casualties for Union was 160 men killed, wounded, and missing, while the Confederates suffered 525 casualties, including 400 prisoners captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Yeah.